Hey folks, welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel. Today we're revisiting an older video where we took this cooler and tried to upgrade it to make it a little bit more like that expensive Yeti down there. So the Yetis have foam insulation all the way around them. So what we did was we put foam inside the lid to better insulate these coolers. They already have foam in the side, so we put more in the lid. And we got a lot of criticism. People said that we didn't test it, we didn't bear proof it, and we didn't put a seal around the edge. So today we're gonna to put a seal around the edge here. We're gonna show you how to install these little latches here, and we're gonna test it as well. So stick around to the very end of the video where we perform those tests against these other two coolers, a stock Coleman and a Yeti cooler. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a great big thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of stuff you'd like to see on the channel. So the first thing we're gonna tackle is putting these seals in. So this is foam window seal. You can go down to your local hardware store and pick this stuff up for only a couple bucks. I've also got a link in the description if you'd like to purchase it online. And this stuff is really squishy. You wanna get the stuff that's thin because you don't wanna make the gap around the edge of your cooler thicker than it has to be. You just wanna seal out the air. So this stuff is nice. It's nice and peel and stick. So all you have to do is clean around the edge of your cooler really well because this stuff is peel and stick, and then you can stick the foam down along the edges. When it closes, you'll see here, it really doesn't open up that gap much more than it already was open. And when you close these latches, it does a nice job compressing that foam down. So now let's move on to these latches. These latches we also picked up at our local hardware store, and I've got a link for something like this in the description below so you can find them. And these are really simple to install. All you need to do is screw in these two bottom screws here, and the top screw on the top of your lid, line them up, and they latch real nice and hold that whole thing secure. Now something else a lot of people had mentioned in the last video was these hinges and how these hinges weren't the best hinges. And I agree with them. These are not the greatest hinges. It's just a piece of plastic that keeps flexing and eventually this will go out on you. Now these haven't gone out on me yet and this cooler is pushing 15 years old, but at some point they will go. So I have a link down in the description below as well for upgraded hinges so you can upgrade them. But you'll notice what's nice about these is the hole isn't a round hole. It's a little bit yoked out and that actually gives you some adjustability where you can adjust the lid up if you have to make some clearances in there for that seal. So we're gonna put the hinges back in place now. And the next thing to talk about is bear proofing or at least critter proofing this cooler. So we put the latches on, which should keep things like raccoons out, but let's be honest, this cooler is never gonna be bear proof. But I'm not as concerned about bears as I am concerned about two-legged cooler pirates. So we're gonna put something on here that ought to keep those two-legged cooler pirates out of our cooler. There we go. That ought to keep everybody out of this cooler. Now, speaking of snacks, check out my daughter's YouTube channel. I got a link for that below, and I've got a great video on there on how to make your very own beef jerky at home. So now that we've got this taken care of, let's get over to testing the ice on this thing. We're gonna put a bag of ice into each cooler and see which one lasts the longest and which one lasts the shortest. So now it's about a day and a half later, so let's get in here and check out our coolers and see how they're doing. Let's go into the Yeti first. I have a Yeti cooler here, you can see. There's uh, still a good amount of ice, but there is some water and melt going on down there. Let's go to our Naughty Yeti here with our uh, vegan snacks in it. We've got Kind of the same thing going on. Maybe a little bit more melt, but a good amount of uh, ice still left. Now let's go into our completely stock cooler. And you can see here, this one, although we still have ice, 
There's considerably more melt and more water than ice in that one. So, so far, it would appear that this cooler is losing. Our Yeti is in the lead, but our Naughty Yeti is closely behind it as far as how well it's retaining ice. So let's close them all back up and check on them in a day. All right, so we're on day three of our Hold an Ice Challenge. So let's go over here to our stock cooler and get in here and see how we're doing. Uh, you can see here it's mostly water now with a little bit of ice floating on top. Now let's check out our uh, modified cooler. Let's see how our vegan snacks are doing. So as I put my hand through there, I still have ice cubes all the way to the bottom. There's a lot of water in there, but when I put my hand through all the way to the bottom, I'm still touching ice all the way to the bottom of it. And uh, I should mention, I'm doing this in my garage, so they're not getting hit with the sun, but we do live out in the California desert. Here's the, the Yeti cooler. And uh, doing a little bit better than the other one. Um, a lot of water in there, but we do still have ice all the way to the depth of my fingers. Um, so as I was saying, we're doing this out in my garage. We do live at the California desert and it's been reaching 105 degrees or so in the garage each day during the day. So these things are baking in a fair amount of heat. So let's keep this test going and see how these things fare for another day. All right, so it's been another 24 hours. Let's see how our patients here are doing. First, we're gonna go into our all stock cooler and it is completely water, no ice left. Next, let's go into our modified cooler with our vegan snacks in here, see how they're doing. Looks like our vegan snacks are doing okay. There's still a little bit of ice floating around here. Not a lot, but there's some. And then coming into our third cooler, the Yeti. We have ice still, a lot of water in there. But we do have ice. So our Yeti is our winner and it better be for how much that thing costs. Our completely stock cooler, obviously is our loser. That thing lost all of its ice and we still have some ice retention in our modified coolers. So that shows that our seal, our latches and our foam top there is in fact working. So there we go. I hope you had some fun hanging out in the garage with us. And if you didn't pick up some stuff, I hope you at least had a few laughs. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a great big thumbs up and let me know the kind of adventures you're taking your fake Yeti cooler along with you on. Thanks a lot for watching.